This is a photo of Toby, Cocker Spaniel, uh, sent in by a Oz Photography Forum member, Salma, and she just wanted to know how to get rid of uh, the background, get some cloning happening to get rid of the wheel that's in the, up the top of the photo, wheel of a barbecue. So this little video is to show one way of doing a, a clone the background using the switch method that I use. So starting with the background layer, I'm going to duplicate that, Control J, <clears throat> and then we're going to go over here to the left and select the polygonal lasso tool. And up in this corner, left corner of the photo, I'm going to put a dot and draw down just do it very rough around the dog. You don't have to be accurate at all, as you'll see, because we're going to mask it out. So I'll just get this done. And when you get to the corner, you'll see a little circle comes up just to say you've completed the selection. So that's good. And we go then up to layer, new. Layer by copy. And if you look in the layers over here on the right, we've now got a new layer just with that clone copy there. And you hold down Command or Control on the PC and click on the thumbnail, which reselects it. And we want to flip it so it fits on the other side. So Command T and right click and choose flip horizontal. See it's flipped over like that, and just move it over to the corner just like that, and we'll just enlarge it a little bit so it just goes past the dog. So I'm going to fill out that background, and it doesn't matter because we'll mask that out. So once you've got that, you hit enter, that's all good, right. Now down here in the layer, you need to put a mask on to that layer, which click that, and then click on the actual layer mask thumbnail, and then choose a brush. So you press B on a medium size brush there, and you want to make sure that the color is black. So if you look over here, the foreground color is white. So you can either hit the arrows, which will swap them, or hit X, which also swaps them. So now we just paint over the dog. The other trick that you can do is just lower the opacity temporarily of the mask. So you can actually see where the dog is. And then paint over the dog to reveal him because when we put that mask on it's actually cut off some of his head so we're just re-revealing the dog I'll just paint over there like that and if you go too far it makes, reveals the wheel again it doesn't matter, that's easy to fix press zoom in select your brush again just reduce the size, hit X which will swap here back to white, which paints the mask back on. So we'll just paint that mask back in. I'm just going to make the brush a little harder. So you hold down shift and right bracket. That reduces the feathering. Nearly done. Just come down like that. Pretty good. Zoom up a bit. And we can zoom out. Now go back here to opacity and put it back to a hundred. And you just see that I have missed a little 
couple of spots, so I'm going to just paint out that mask just a little bit more. Okay, looking good. That's pretty good. Now, because when I selected, I didn't select um, really closely to the edge. It's easy fixed. You press S. Get the clone stamp, just make a small brush, hold down option to select a clone target. So I'll go there and sorry, control Z that up here. Make sure it's on current layer, otherwise, it'll like you just saw then, it will sample underneath as well. So here we go, just gonna clone out that rimming brush a bit bigger and done it's a bit of a spot just there and an edge as well so every time you need to resample you just press the option key down Okay, this is very rough, but when you zoom back out now, we can see that that wheel has gone. Now, she has done some cloning out of the bed here, but when you have a look, I think it was done in Lightroom. She used a peeling brush. It's very patchy, so we need to fix that up. So select the copy layer again, and we will make a new layer. So. Command Shift N, and we'll get the clone tool S, making sure it's a soft brush, which is you can hold down Shift, left bracket makes it a very soft brush, or if you go all the way to the right, makes it hard. So we want soft, and hold down Option, choose a sample point, and we will now. Did it again. Need current and below. Option. And we'll just tidy this. It's this area here that's pretty dodgy, so I'll just fix that up. Main thing is you've got to keep getting a new sample point, otherwise you can up, end up with patterns, which is what how it was. Now if you want to get a straight line, seeing that this is a bed, just reduce the size of the brush, choose a point, make your first click, and then come down to where you'd like to have a straight line, hold the shift key down and re-click, and you get a line, a nice straight line, straight through. So that's looking better. Just here there's a bit of a cloning error. So we'll fix it up too. So I'll, this time I shall get a bit of the Hessian edge. So I'm going to clone just there. And we'll chuck that in there like that. That's pretty cool. Fiddly little things, but anyway. Alright, so that's the... Uh, just fix this up here as a blotch. <clears throat> Let's get my clone tool again. Go back to that one, clone, make sure I go to current layer, and choose a bigger brush, just bigger than that, sample that, and we're going to get rid of that blotch that was there. Okay, alright, so that's the first stage of cleaning up the background, and the next video will be to desaturate this green line just there, and then I'm going to dodge out um, Toby's eyes here just to reveal a bit of a reflection. Cool.